Hi everyone, I'm Annie here. Yeah, today I will do a, to, a tutorial to show you how I uh, order this uh, cameo cameo frame. This one, this. Let me just show you some more, and this. This one, this I do the ribbon uh, embroidery here, and this one I added the beads here, and this one I added some uh, resin flower, and this is my handmade resin flower. Okay, this one, yeah, and it is very fun to make also and I also paint with all uh, the frame with the alkylate uh, I use some of this Mata, Mata Stewart uh, alkylate craft paint and some pastel blue and pink and yeah this is uh, some of yeah maybe yeah sometimes yeah you will not get the couldn't find the colors you you like so yeah you can cover I mean you can paint the frame with whatever color you like this one you can see I paint it with the uh, very pastel yeah very soft pink and with some white you can see and this one I paint it with the uh, pastel green and this one with the blue okay yeah you just can you can cover whatever color you like on your frame and this is the back so the original color this one also I'll cover like so yeah this is the original color you can cover like so okay and yeah uh, today I will show you I how I made this uh, a stuff with the this one is the polyester uh, I stuff behind the fabric the frame today I will make this to the image and yeah you have to measure the size of your frame to cut out the fabric yeah the fabric must bigger then the frame the size okay and this one is for the bottom layer and this one the uh, image you like okay and I this one because I this frame is the oval shape so yeah my image I cut out in the oval shape okay and also you need to prepare the this one for the stuffing I use this I'm not sure is it called polyester or fiber or whatever yeah this is for the pillow cushion stuffing and yeah I also yeah cut out the template for the size of my frame you can see I cut bigger than the uh, I mean the the, the oval shape here and for the stuffing yeah for the polyester you have to cut smaller than the image size you can see the size is smaller you yeah, when you stuff this in yeah you can cover the polyester like so okay and now what I need to do is before I glue them all together I will alter this first okay yeah see whatever you you prefer to add on the image and you, yeah, you can add on some bits uh, let me show you I have the okay and this is one of the frame that I ordered I added uh, resin flowers and I do I didn't yeah do any too much I mean embarrassment in, uh, I embarrassed inside because the frame I added 
this bit around the frame yeah just make it simple here okay like so this one and I also alter another one this okay add some bits here some ribbon and pottery flowers here and with the small pieces resin piece here and around also some bit at the poles around okay and yeah so I now I will start to show you how do I uh, just uh, and yeah see you but uh, you prefer but you can see the tri uh, dimension here okay you can see the dimension here yeah you can stuff the I prefer to stuff not to take first for the first layer here because it's easy to me for me to sew them together and later I will show you how I stuff another layer okay and yeah these pieces here okay now uh, let me grab my glue before that yeah you have to uh, just glue them together the image and the this polyester okay and this image I print out on the fabric okay and glue this together and yeah remember this uh, pieces will smaller than the fabric okay and add some more glue here actually I get inspired to alter this uh, alter frame is from a Facebook page and the lady's name I not sure but yeah she does a uh, also, yeah, wonderful. I mean, very good. Uh, it's a gorgeous embroidery work on her purses and some outer frame. Yeah, I get inspired by her, and I will also report her link, uh, face her Facebook page link below the description box. Yeah, you can check her out, and also I get inspired some of the idea from Pinterest. Okay, and yeah, like so you put them together, and now you get started to to sew them together. Okay, for the first, I I yeah, like so. I use the this one is the swan for the cross stage. Uh, let me grab some. This, I use all this strand. Yeah, for the cross stitching. Yeah, I use this. Okay, I use this in. I have how many? Uh, uh yeah, six here, six strand here. Okay, you just see whatever the pattern you like to to sew them together. Just do the way the way you like. Okay. And actually, yeah, you can also. Uh, some of my works I didn't. I can see now. I do this, this, uh, stitching like so. I don't know how to call this stitching. And yeah, just do whatever you like. And today I will show you. I will show you this. I will make all these bits here. Okay. Mm, now let me see. Mm, yeah, I will do this one and show you how I do this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, start. You have to. And uh, okay. Yeah, you got the use the needle. Yeah. 
uh, I, I don't know the size but yeah you gotta use a small needle if you need to use if you use the small bit because yeah this is yeah easy for you to go through all the bits okay and now start uh, your needle in pull and and yeah today I will use the pastel blue frame so I choose a, uh, this pastel pink and ivory and I will uh, use the pink and the ivory color okay Put in and yeah you have to leave the space about I think two or three uh, centimeter okay and your this put under the needle and pull your strand go through okay this is your first stage okay and yeah add again the bit pink and ivory and you lift up the space here put in the needle and this put under the needle and pull then you will get the pattern like so and I show you if you do the different ways and you will get the different the bit the uh, different patterns let me show you okay you put the bits here if you put this one no if you put you if do the different way like so if you put the bits in first and you put in the needle and you will get the different patterns here and when you pull the needle the, the bits will go will go different way the bits will go this side okay so that you have to If you want to get the pattern like so, you have to the bits. Yeah, you put in the strength before you put in the uh, bits. Hope you get what I mean. And the needle behind first, then you pull the strength. Then you will get this pattern like so. Okay. so okay hope you get I mean yeah you have to if you get one to get this kind of pattern like what I did here then you have to follow that the way I made okay Put in the bit and lift the space here and the strand under the needle and pull like so okay and you will go all around the way uh, the oval shape here let me do one more time to show you the bits the pink yeah the colors yeah you have to yeah depends uh how you what what you like and i like the pink behind the row and the front row is the ivory colors okay and lift the space here and then you pull this and pull your string and get that so Okay, and you can get two row and one at a time you stitch in the needle. Okay, 
and come back later and show you the finish uh, work here okay okay this is the finish project yeah I mean finish I do finish uh, for the sh uh, shape here and I show you the way that I just uh, I, I mentioned yeah if you put your needle different way you will get the different buttons here and now this one yeah this just now the way I do is the the strand under the needle before I put in the beads okay and now I do the different way is I I sorry run out but yeah the battery run out yeah and this the way it do is you pull down the bead first and you put in the needles the bits under the needles you will get a different way okay I'll show you and you will know what I meant okay okay you can see the bits is in the edges here okay and I'll show you one more time here In the, okay, we put in the beads and the, leave the space here. Sorry. okay now focus and the bits is under the needle then you pull the strand and you can see the bits will sorry I'm a frame and the bits will go to the edges here can you see it okay and this one is like this the pattern and this one is different patterns here okay focus okay and do one more time to show you this one and oops it's very hard to do works in front of the camera <laughs> okay and yeah just now I do the way is I put in the needles and the bits and the sorry the strand is under the needle then I pull in then the the bits will you will have this kind of patterns okay and now I do this I put in the bit first and the bits under the needles and you will get these patterns here okay and yeah I hope you understand here what I try to show you okay and now for this one if you still need to yeah you if you need to add some bigger bits around yeah you can just add on the bits uh, around the uh, edges here but this I just do this simple one like so yeah if you want to add the, the big bits here just like this you just stitch on the bits around the frame okay like so but this one I just make it simple like this one I add some big bits around here okay okay and now you have to yeah, just now I yeah I use just half and now for 
the under half I just glue in the frame here and I use the hot glue and just this one and this one you just adhere them together okay and some glue on the top first and just stick this yeah and you go all around the frame the edge the frame here and press it down So, in the back here, you also yeah you can cut the another fabric to cover the edges. I mean the back here, but I just leave it here because sometimes yeah you just uh, use on your project and this you will cover is yeah you can you won't see this part in your projects okay. So this one. And I will add the resin piece here, okay. And this one, yeah. I will do the embroidery. Yeah, maybe I will do the embroidery ribbon work here, okay. And now I show you how I do this ribbon leaves and tulips, okay. Okay, for make this, you have to get the, this embroidery um, ring. This is if the one I use always, but I receive a rag from a sweet friend, Natasha. Yeah, this is the ring. It's just so perfect for the size of doing uh, this. Okay, and I need not to use the big ring. Now I got a small ring. <laughs> so, and what you need to do is, yeah, you got to use the template to draw. Out the temp the yeah let me get. can you see I really trace the uh use the template to trace the shape the oval shape here and for the flower I use this is the ribbon satin ribbon yes it's a satin ribbon and you use the needle the size you this size of the needle okay and actually yeah you can find this silk embroidery ribbon from craftyaddict.com and this is the silk ribbon uh, Jane sent to me as a gift thank you so much Jane but I just keep this for a special project okay and so and yeah silk ribbon is more flexible and more soft the I mean the flower came out more soft and nicer than the ribbon flowers okay, anyways yeah I just show you this and use the soft pink this one okay and yeah for the tulip here I mean this 
Yeah, I can call this tulip mouse and also rose, but the first one here. And yeah, like I mentioned, I'm not so professional. I'm not expert for the embroidery work, but yeah, uh, some of my subjects to ask me uh, do a tutorial to show them how I do my embroidery work. And yeah, I just try my best and show you. Okay, and I will also will put the link below the description box for some awesome gorgeous yeah amazing uh, embroidery works tutorial to show you all and you can check them out okay yeah for this flower yeah you have to uh, you, uh, your needle you put in your needles and the flower the measurement like so and here you leave the space here okay and yeah, it's really hard for me. Okay, I try my best. Okay, and put in the needle here. And the flowers is like so. Yeah, the size for this. Okay, and put back in the needle from the bottom pull and you will get this like a rose bud here and the needle you put back in and yeah so and you can adjust your flowers or your yeah like I say I'm not professional <laughs> so yeah please bear with me and I will try my best to show you how I do my work my embroidery work okay and for the second flowers this side This one, I think the flower will be smaller than the first flower. Okay. Like so. Okay, and put the needle in. And you can adjust your flower. Okay, you adjust the flower. So, this one, okay, and another one here. Then at this. Okay. This is the three flowers you can see. Okay. And now you have to make the leaves and the branches here. Okay. Okay, for the leaves here, I will use the like a lemon green for the leaves and branches here. This one. Okay. Um yeah. 
Okay. I let me see. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Put in your needle. And yeah, twist your ribbon and come back to this side here. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, is they have different shape of the lips and the yeah the branches but I now I should just show you this very simple one uh, it's maybe my needle is too thick <laughs> okay oh something is oh yeah see I put in the behind the ribbon so yeah, that's why it's very hard to come out okay yeah like so sorry and you twist your ribbon and just come back here oh my yeah this side probably not out of shape <laughs> okay put in okay this is your branches here and you do another one okay. <laughs> so yeah put in the try to not put in the ribbon uh, let me see this is the flower yeah oh no wonder yeah tr try to not put in the ribbon it's very hard to pull it out <laughs> okay sorry our frame again this one and twist your ribbon and put back in So, okay, adjust nicely, okay, and twist the ribbon and come back the middle here. Okay, this is the one, and now make this side. Okay, make this and put the in on. Okay, so sorry. This idea. And oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, just okay. Come back in the middle here. Yeah. yeah, get your branches here. And now, got to do the leaves here underneath. And yeah, I think I not enough the ribbon. Yeah, you actually, yeah, you should do use the longer extra yeah longer ribbon yeah and I will change my 
sorry I think I out of frame again yeah, this one okay okay now I'll start to make the leaves here see this two three make three leaves here and put back in your needle from the bottom here And see the leaves. Okay, I will make the leaves like so. And if you want the, your lips facing this side, then you have to put this edges here. Okay. Okay, and when leaves already done here, and then make the Another one, uh, yeah. So put that in on the bottom here. And put up your ribbon, and this one I will this side here. Where's my needle? <laughs> There's something. Let me check. Okay, this, this one. And remember, yeah, you don't pull too hard the ribbon, yeah. Because you, you have to lift the curve like this. Okay, and this one. Okay, and now one more leaf to go, and come back to the center here, and pull up your ribbon again. Okay, and this one. I don't do face like this, so I have to put this side. Okay. It's really hard for me to pull it out. <laughs> okay, let's so we pull this and turn too hard. Okay, here we go. Got three leaves here and this is my rose but uh or tulip <laughs> flowers and you just cut it out and start the stitching like I show you just now if you want to add some bits yeah you can just follow the way that I show you to different patterns bits here okay and yeah Hope you all like this tutorial and yeah, hope you don't mind that because yeah, I not so well on this work so, and thanks for yeah, keep watching my video and I do appreciate each one and yeah, please feel free to let, uh, leave me a comment and let me know what do you think of this Camille photo frame. And I really hope you all like STEM. And thanks everyone again for watching. And bye bye. Show you this. <laughs>